Reporting in progress. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this industry talk on digital transformation and the My Reskill IoT program. I'm Stanley, your moderator. For your reference, this talk is co-organized by the Malaysia Productivity Corporation, MPC, and Sarawak Skills. I would like to start by sharing the following housekeeping rules. Please scan the QR code on your screen to register your attendance. There is also a link in the chat room for you to access the attendance form. Of course, I know that some of you have already done that a bit earlier this morning. During the course of this industry talk, we will mute all microphones except for the speakers and moderators microphones. Please post your questions in the chat room. We will endeavor to answer all questions during the upcoming Q&A session that will be towards the end of this morning session. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning we have a diverse online audience comprising representatives from the government as well as members of the, in, from the industry, the management and my colleagues from across the Sarawak Skills Group of Learning Institutions. Thank you all for your tremendous support. And now I would like to invite Inche Halman Sabri, Sarawak Skills Executive Director, to deliver his welcoming remarks. Inche Halman, please. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Stanley. Assalamualaikum and uh, all the uh, uh, course uh, participants and also our guests uh, today, uh, Dr. Mazlina Shafi the Deputy Director, uh, MPC from Kuala Lumpur. Uh, let me introduce uh, to you here that uh, Sarawak Skill and uh, MPC have been uh, working uh, closely uh, for quite some time or even many years uh, since 1990s when uh, uh, the, uh, the late director, uh, uh, Dato, the previous director, Dato uh, Abdul Latif, Abdul Latif uh, was a friend of uh, Sarawak Skills eh? and uh, we have been uh, working closely and uh, apparently uh, the MPC uh, Sarawak region uh, has been very uh, cooperative to uh, Sarawak Skill and uh, very active in our strategic committee under the uh, risk management and audit committee and thanks to uh, Puan Sarima and now uh, we're looking forward to work closely with uh, the uh, with Madam Haja Nur Hafiza Muhammad uh, Ayub, eh? a director of MPC Sarawak Region. I'm looking forward to meet you, uh, uh, Madam Haja. Uh, uh, I think I've not uh, been meeting you, so we will be looking uh, towards uh, meeting uh, meeting you. And uh, of course, I would like to welcome the uh, Sarawak Skill members uh, uh, inside this uh, talk. Uh, we have a few of our members here and the uh, industries uh, members, uh, plus the government agency, which uh, we have been uh, working uh, together, the government agency and the uh, departments. And uh, obviously, to all my colleagues uh, in uh, Sarawak Skills, uh, learning a uh, group of learning of institution okay uh what happened is uh just a month ago if i'm not mistaken our team members uh, uh, the uh, strong skill team members have been talking uh, closely with mpc kuala lumpur uh, in terms of uh, how we can reach through the uh, the state of sarawak in terms of digitalizing uh, the state. And as we know that uh, Sarawak is embarking on this uh, digital economy. And of course, definitely, we would like the industry in Sarawak to be actively uh, be making friends with all this digital, uh, uh, particularly on the industry 4.0 tools and equipment that uh, the uh, nation is embarking now. So I think, uh, 
this uh, talk one month ago has been very fruitful. Uh, thank you to my team members who have been uh, working uh, closely with the MPC Kuala Lumpur. And as a result, as you can see today, uh, we have a very uh, uh, experienced uh, speaker from the uh, MPC Kuala Lumpur, Dr. Manzlina, who shall be uh, delivering a program that can be uh, an opportunity for all the industries uh, in uh, Sarawak to grab through. And of course, this program is in terms of uh, providing uh, training to the uh, uh, industry, uh, uh, which we call here is the uh, transformation, digital transformation, uh, my reskill IoT program. And the program will uh, take uh, uh, for five and a half years, uh, five and a half days, sorry, uh, which I have been informed, uh, we will be run by Sarawak Skill and also with the support of MPC and it is uh, funded by, uh, obviously it's funded by MPC. Take this opportunity as I think we are going for uh, so many things happening now in terms of uh, the uh, disruption by the pandemic and as a result, digital is the only option where we can uh, increase our productivity at our, our workplace. Uh, I'm not going to uh, deliberate so long here. Uh, once again, uh, uh, I would like to welcome uh, Dr. Mazlina uh, for this uh, talk and also thank you to Madam Haja Nur Hafiza uh, for this uh, collaboration and I'm looking forward for our meeting so that uh, we would be able to uh, uh, further work closely in terms of increasing productivity for the industry in Sarawak. Thank you very much. Uh, how much hit the nail on the head when you mentioned that we have a long established relationship with the Malaysia Productivity Corporation in the area of uh, human capital development, very important for not only for Sarawak, but our nation as well. And now it gives me great pleasure to invite Juan Haja Nor Hafiza Mohamed Aro, Director of the Malaysia Productivity Corporation Sarawak region to share her perspective on this morning's industry talk. Juan Haja, please. Thank you, Mr. Sandy. Thank you for the warm welcome. Thank you all. It's nice to be on this event. I think this is, uh, will be the first of many events, inshallah. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. As well as Good morning, everyone. I would like to accept attendees. Thank you. Thank you for making your way for this uh, talk yeah, on digital transformation, my risk IoT program virtually. Um, as you're well aware, uh, MPC uh, uh, has been mandated yeah, through the Malaysia Productivity Blueprint uh, launched back in 2017 to drive productivity uh, growth, yeah, productivity improvement initiatives um, with the industry, with uh, the state, with all parties. Uh, it's no more um, MPC's job to drive productivity, but we need everybody on board to drive productivity improvement. All right. So for this uh, purpose, we have um, many. Uh, we have um, initiatives yeah, that uh, ranges from sectoral, enterprise, as well as national level. So this is uh, part of the initiatives which covers sectoral level, and perhaps we can drive, go down further to the firm level. Yeah. So in MPB or Malaysia Productivity Blueprint uh, has highlighted this, that strengthening of digitalization in my industry through e-commerce and adoption of innovative technology is one of the initiatives for driving digitalization and innovation. We, uh, as we can clearly see for the past two years, we have been virtually meeting, we have been virtually uh, conducting our forum, our um, uh, uh, summit, our programs all virtually. In fact, uh, MPC, since March uh, 2020, we have not been stopping, we have not been stopped working 24-7. Uh, we run the programs virtually. We pivot immediately um, to ensure that our initiatives run smoothly, run through. Of course, there are hiccups, but we learn from, uh, from mistakes, from failures. Otherwise, we wouldn't learn anything, right? Let's do it. Let's just try out pilot, pilot here and there, and we improve. So that's where technology comes in and, and facilitate. Yeah? Technology is a tool to facilitate our work to, to, uh, in achieving our target. Yeah? 
So promoting technology-related improvement is highly associated with improved economic and social development of the country. All right. So we need this technology. We need to move uh, to upper uh, leapfrog, yeah? not only um, to uh, to double to double uh, to achieve that double growth of productivity. Now we need more than ever uh, to reboost our productivity through technology. Yeah. So technology, technological innovation proves to be the primary source of high performance, harvesting more output from limited resources and identifying new ways to utilize existing resources. Uh, besides that, it drives people to produce better goods and services or to produce and deliver them more efficiently. Technology is as good as how we make it work for us. Let us lead technology, not technology lead us. I mean, we design what we want. Uh, to me, out of that technology that is available for us, yeah. Um, realizing great positive impact of digital technology or productivity, several programs to boost digital adoption um, among industry have been carried out, yeah. Uh, this uh, Murray Skill IoT program is one of MPC EEPN, so uh, stands for Electrical Electronic Productivity Nexus. We need a formula that proliferate from flat. Platform program to accelerate the adoption of Industry 4.0, especially among our local companies. So we have started uh, way back in 2020, um, looking into how <coughs> we can uh, generate innovation, yeah? uh, revive, uh, 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 facilitate innovation from among the ENE sector. Yeah? In, uh, we started in the ENE sector, right? Our aim is to train at least 5,000 micro and small media enterprises nationwide with a partnership with I I 4.0 technology centers. So MPC cannot work alone. We leverage, we network. So we are very thankful that we have, we have close relationship with Short Skill and together we collaborate and we complement each other yeah, in terms of resources and expertise. So the objective of this program is to assist companies in the adoption of industry 4.0 among the local industries to train the industry IoT knowledge and skill set for the non-coding workforce so that they can remain relevant in the job market. So we can see that uh, they're changing uh, the dynamics yeah, in the um, workforce. You know, uh, the jobs <coughs> are more uh, to, uh, moving towards digital content, yeah? technology-related jobs. So uh, some jobs have become redundant and become obsolete. Yeah? And to support, coach, prepare and, in, and enable 5,000 participants to carry out IoT project within their companies. So we are talking about pivoting the skill set eh, uh, in the MSMEs. <clears throat> uh, this morning's talk, uh, we delivered my uh, dear old friend, uh, Dr. Mazina. I hope you will take advantage of her expertise in more, for more than 25 years in productivity uh, improvement and productivity analysis. So uh, I'm very proud yeah, to be associating with her, to be working with her for the past 20 years yeah, in productivity uh, measurement and uh, analysis. Right. Uh, finally, on behalf of MPC, I would like to encourage all companies attending today's program to take the giant leap in participating in my risk program that is scheduled to commence in the middle of August. As I've uh, put to, uh, suggested to Mr. Shafi just now, let's not uh, make this only one session, let's go, uh, do more sessions here to attract more uh, uh, to, uh, participants or uh, companies uh, to, to know more about uh, this uh, my risk IoT. With that, Thank you and have a productive day ahead. Thank you so much, Wan Haja, for sharing your perspective. Yes, uh, both you and Inche Halman have set the tone for this morning session and we look forward to a fruitful industry talk. I like the point where you highlighted that we live in a technology-enabled environment. Yes, it's true. It is because of technology this morning that we have more than 100 participants. So I've just had a look at that. It is really a diverse online audience this morning. We have people, representatives from the government, for example, various sectors of the industry, our members, as well as my colleagues from across the Sarawak Skills Group of Learning Institutions, not only in Kuching, but we have uh, colleagues from MUKA, industries from uh, MIRI as well, MUKA, spread out Sarawak that are able to benefit from today's session. So thank you everyone for your tremendous support. So ladies and gentlemen, around the world, the internet of things, the focus today, IoT, has resulted in numerous transformations 
across the vibrant canvas of humanity. For example, with increased access to data and advances in analytics, businesses have been able to gain better insights into their products, services, and even the markets to facilitate effective strategic planning and decision making. Now, the importance of IoT as a key enabler for future business success and the ongoing development of human capital in terms of acquiring industry relevant knowledge and skill sets have made possible the exploration of new frontiers to transform our ever changing global socio economic landscape. Yes, for humankind, a new golden age of abundance is attainable. So we are looking beyond COVID-19. On that note, I take great pleasure in introducing Dr. Mazlina Shafi'i, the speaker for this morning's industry talk. Now, who is Dr. Mazlina? Let me share a bit with all of you. Dr. Mazlina, as you heard just now, is the Deputy Director of the Malaysia Productivity Corporation. For your reference, MPC is the leading organization in productivity enhancement for global competitiveness as well as innovation. So it has lots of activities uh, spanning consultancy services, research and training in productivity, quality enhancement, management and entrepreneurship. Dr. Maslina has a PhD in economics with over 25 years of experience in the areas of productivity and competitiveness, she is well regarded both in Malaysia and internationally as a productivity expert. So I, I, can, I won't be able to go into detail, but in a nutshell, her areas of speci specialization includes consultancy, research and project management. Now her vast experience includes being appointed as a national expert in Asia Productivity Organization, that is APO, research projects on cross-country assessment of productivity performance of SMEs, especially in the food manufacturing sector, and upskilling employees to improve productivity. Currently, she is also involved in a nationwide productivity movement as the program manager for the Machinery and Equipment Productivity Nexus, MEPN. MEPN aims to enhance productivity in the machinery and equipment sector in Malaysia, as outlined in the Malaysia Productivity Blueprint. Over to you, Dr. Maslina. Thank you, Mr. Stanley. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sorry, good morning. And assalamualaikum to the rest of these um, participants uh, in our webinar. <clears throat> so thank you to uh, also to the Encik Halman Sabri for your uh, warm welcome uh, to MPC in joint collaboration for this webinar as well. Okay. So my topic today, I will talk more on the digital transformation focuses more on the My Reskill IoT program that MPC has offer, offer to the companies. Yeah? Okay, next, Sarah. Before we move forward, so uh, as upon Hafiza and also Mr. Sandy mentioned that MPC role is to promote the productivity at the national level, sectoral level, and also the enterprise level. So in order to go further, to improve the productivity, we must know what are the challenges facing uh, in order to address uh, the challenges. Yeah. So um, we have identified in the Malaysia Productivity Blueprint uh, five main challenges that impede uh, the productivity growth. So the most uh, pressing um, uh, issues are the on the talent, yeah, where uh, the we need to restructure workforce by re raising the number of high skill workforce and tightening entry for the low skill workers and meeting demand of the future. And then one of the another uh, challenges faced by industries are on uh, in terms of the technology, we need to strengthening the readiness of the industry in order to embark on the technology transformation. 
So in uh, uh, for the incentive structure as well. So uh, we need to also look into the structure whereby the incentive provided by this uh, to the company to the industries whether it is uh, really needed by the industries or otherwise we have to need to uh, strengthen and um, to give uh, the better outcome for the industry to leverage. Uh, is also as well as MPC is a good ad in promoting and also look at, look at into the business environment. We continuously addressing the issues regarding the, uh, the regulation, the produce policy that been hampered eh, uh, to the industry in order to increase, uh, to reduce uh, the um, burden for the companies for ease of doing business. But uh, on top of that, the most important thing uh, we need to, be, to address is about the productivity mindset. Productivity must be in top of the mindset of the people in order to drive the productivity further. So this is the, actually the challenges if we can um, if we address these challenges uh, gradually or uh, step by step, inshallah, a letter will will. Uh, uh, come out, yeah? we will uh, move out into the, from, from the comfort zone and to improve the productivity of our uh, companies. So today I will highlight more on the uh, trust uh, challenges. Number two is the technology. So that's why we need um, digital transformation in order to boost the productivity, especially for the companies in a small and medium uh, enterprise. So next please, um, next please, okay. Uh, for to give the better uh, pictures on how uh, the digital transformation can impact your business and improve your efficiency uh, in um, uh, in the business to sustain the competitiveness of the companies, I would look I would like to share um, videos um, from the um, Farm Fresh. Uh, Malaysia, where uh, their initiative uh, uh, with the uh, technology transformation. So, can we uh, play the video? As a leader, mesti berani buat keputusan. Salah tak apa buat keputusan. Biasalah buat keputusan salah kan. Cerita comfort zone ni dah lama dah. Dah lama dah kita cerita leader-leader bercerita pasal comfort zone. Leader sendiri bercerita pasal comfort zone. Tapi leader tak keluar daripada comfort zone. Macam mana nak buah nak keluar? Siapa sangka setiap kawan lebih 18 tahun berjaya menjadi batu asas? Agro-Tourism Center hasil kerjasama Farm Fresh dan Universiti Putra Malaysia. Kalau you compare last 10 years, kita bermula 2010 kan, sampai sekarang dah 10 tahun. 60 ekor lembu tak ada apalah cerita nak pengurusan. 60 ekor lembu, 2-3 orang pun boleh jaga kan. Kita buat semua manually, buat sendiri. Jadi untuk mencapai ekonomi of scale yang itu, kita kena expand. Ekonomi of scale tu untuk you tambah orang pengurusan, untuk tambah ini, tambah ini, dia tak beri ulangan yang sewajarnya kerana ekonomi of scale tu tak cukup. Our mission ialah untuk produce fresh milk yang sedap and then deliver within 48 jam secara konsisten dan itu adalah KPI kita untuk ladang yang ini. Untuk menguruskan itu, kalau kata tak ada satu sistem yang efisien, delivery sistem kita tak sampai. Bila barang premium, harga dia mestilah premium juga. Tapi kita dekat Farm Fresh, kita nak bagi harga yang affordable. Digital teknologi yang ada dalam ni ialah daripada segi pengumpulan data. Jadi kita kena ada data-data yang spesifik untuk kita tahu prestasi ladang dan pengeluaran lembu kita. Bila kita dah tahu data-data ni, kita dapat troubleshoot. Data tu penting untuk kita. Kalau kata kita tak ada digital punya maklumat, kita tak tahu nak buat apa. Kita just assume. So sebagai leader, kita dapat full control dengan kita boleh akses kepada data-data yang tadi supaya memudahkan kita untuk buat keputusan. Sebelum ni saya guna rapid exit. Jadi itu limitasi dia satu hari saya boleh perah 800 hingga 900 ekor. Dengan mesin yang baru ni saya boleh perah sekarang 1200 hingga 1500 ekor. Jadi pengeluaran 
dengan tracking sistem boleh meningkatkan kita punya integriti dalam uh, supply chain untuk kita deliver produk yang terbaik kepada consumer kita. Kalau you tak betul-betul jaga susu tu kan belum sampai dah kita nak manufacture dekat kilang pun dia dah rosak. So tracking sistem ni sangat penting dan consumer kita rasa selamat uh, untuk menggunakan produk kita dan dia akan uh, loyal dengan produk kita kerana dia rasa this is produk yang boleh kami percayai. Online platform adalah salah satu kaedah uh, di syarikat kami macam mana kita mengumpulkan data untuk kita tengok customer behavior. Kita nak tengok uh, pola pembelian, SKU mana yang laku. Eh, jadi data-data macam ini uh, kita tahu kita nak buat promotion of sales kita dan planning kita punya production pula. Dan tak ada banyak wastage dan kita boleh save dekat situ. Leader kena berani untuk invest Banyak faedah yang kita boleh dapat daripada invest dekat digital ni Bila dah skala yang besar ni memang kita sangat memerlukan digital teknologi Kita tak boleh lagi manual If you want to grow big, kita kena berani ambil keputusan untuk invest Dan how to penetrate the market, how to break the market Tapi kalau kata kita masih tak nak terbuka dengan teknologi baru Saya ingat kita akan tertinggal untuk deliver produk yang bagus, kita mesti ada analisa supaya kita boleh deliver produk kita dengan selamat kepada consumer. Dan uh, bila orang dah uh, confident dengan produk kita, loyalty itu akan datang sendiri. Dengan digital teknologi ini dapat membantu kita menjadi pengeluar susu terbesar negara dengan sekarang market share sudah 55%. That's what make people happy, stakeholder happy, pekerja happy, everybody happy, kau pun happy. Okay, in the video we can see how digital can productivity, uh, digital initiative, yeah, uh, can transform uh, um, some of the company to be more efficient in delivering goods uh, because uh, most of the aim of the companies is to produce and also uh, to deliver uh, the quality product and services at the end of the day. So that's why the, the most important thing in the video, they always mention on the data, data gathering, data being assessed. So the, the most um, important pressure or germ in the production is the data, how data can be used and leveraged in order to um, uh, to have the good or to the, to have the very um, good decision for the companies for the uh, top uh, top management in order to strategize the next strategy. So today uh, that's why uh, MPC we have uh, our agenda. We promote go big with digitals. Yeah, um, with the collaboration uh, with the digital productivity nexus, uh, we. Um, want to have a commitment from the companies, especially from the leader, to embark on digital technology. So uh, maybe next, Chia um, Sarah, um, uh, this is a pledge on go big with digital. Uh, companies can assess this um, pledge and then they will also can be abstract this pledge in, to show their commitment towards to the journey, yeah? towards uh, the, the commitment towards the journey of the digital. Um, initiative. So, okay, next. Okay. Before I um, direct into our main agenda on the um, My Reskill IoT, I would like to uh, share more on the initiative that MPC currently embark yeah, on the Productivity 1010. Productivity 1010 is the uh, 1010 actually is the binary. So, it's the um, uh, some sort of the um, reflections, yeah. How digitals or uh, the digital from the analog to the digitals uh, can be improved, uh, to, uh, to can improve the productivity. So that's why we as always associated productivity with the digitization. So the initiative uh, for the one zero productivity one zero one zero, we were we want to help uh, the uh, the companies. Uh, to um, especially in the manufacturing sector and also the manufacturing related services 
to kick start their digitization journey. So we more focus on digitization journey rather than the digital journey because digital we have to start with the digitize yeah, of our processes. So what is our objective? What is the productivity 1010 is about? Because we are developed yeah, in MPC, we are developed with, uh, uh, to, uh, to allow the companies to self-check yeah, their digitization readiness using the, our digital self as a diagnostic tool. Uh, this one, uh, the tools, uh, and then also after uh, the company have received where they are in terms of the digitization readiness, we will assist them. Um, to digitize targeted manufacturing processes based on the proof of concept project we are training and also on-site engagement. For, but uh, in these cases, because of the uh, pandemic, we are unable uh, to, uh, to go on-site, but we will assist them virtually. So anything can be happen, anything can be done through virtual uh, because this is a norm right now, right? So, uh, of course, for the assessment, we targeted for the CEO and also business and, and owner to fill up uh, the question, yeah, because uh, there is about 15 questions. Later on, I will discuss the business owner to fill up because they are the business on, owner are committed and they can oversee uh, the overall process of their um, productions. So, and then we targeted about 5,000 companies for the intervention, mainly for the SME, okay? So for the output, uh, we will provide, yeah, upon the assessment, we are provide the um, digitization uh, assessment. Uh, we also uh, will uh, offer the productivity improvement project. And also, I, ca I can't see in my slide because, uh, okay. And then uh, we expect yeah, the customer who are participate, yeah, the companies who are participate in our program to share their success story in implementing the uh, digital um, project that we uh, given to them. So next, please. Okay, this is actually what is the productivity 1010 process flow. We start with the webinar. We promote our program via um, uh, online platform. So we uh, we encourage all the companies, regardless actually uh, the companies, regardless uh, SME, whether you are small, we are you are macro. Um, but the the question is more targeted to the manufacturing um, industries. But there is no harm for the others to also to uh, try to assess their company's uh, e um, readiness assessment uh, if they are also not in the uh, manufacturing uh, sector as well. So uh, whether you are in the agriculture, in the services, they also can try. But currently we also develop yeah, one specific uh, um, assessment tailored to the services sector. So after upon your submission of our P1010, it's up to the company whether you want to engage with us with, uh, to, to, to participate in our program, our intervention, and also our in co con, uh, coordination program. And then we are the intervention program, we will um, offer the training, yeah? the trainings like what we did, what we do for the uh, My Reskill IoT. And then uh, 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 it's about five days a training, five a uh, uh, half day training for the five uh, consequent um, days, and then we then uh, provide the project implementation. We uh, allocate about three months for the company to try themselves uh, how they can apply some of the devices and software in IoT uh, in order to. Um, to experience yeah, the trans how you want to transform some of the analog processes to the digital. So uh, at the end of the day, after we completed the project, MPC is expected lah, companies to share their practices, to share their journey, some of improvement before and after they embark on the digitization. So the, the objective of the sharing is to encourage more companies to join and then to see uh, the uh, experience, to see the evidence how uh, actually the digitization can improve your uh, productivity and also efficiency. So next, uh, this is the productivity 1010 uh, 
Digitization Self-Diagnostic Tool, they encompass about 15 questions uh, focuses uh, on the three main area. Actually, it is similar. Uh, it's not uh, um, very similar, but it's quite similar with our RA. Yeah, well, our readiness assessment because we jointly collaborate with um, MAPA, Malaysia Automation Technology Association, and also uh, Malaysia Industry uh, System Integrator Association in order to develop this tool. Um, we want to um, uh, have, a, we want to offer and our want to have all the companies in Malaysia, regardless sizes, whether you are uh, SME or not, to experience itself and then to measure uh, the your level of readiness. Because um, in order to move forward, we must measure where we are in order to in order to, uh, to start to the next session. So this is actually the uh, area that we um, uh, covered. Uh, we covered on the organization, technology and process. All of these questions, we will giving the weightage lah in order to come up with the score. So next, uh, Sarah. For the scoring, uh, so this is also similar yeah, with the um, um, uh, RA because we also do a benchmarking with the Singaporean, with um, Germany, uh, uh, benchmark with their assessment, yeah, digital assessment. So uh, we will offer the companies, uh, especially for the 60% below for our program. So they really need the assistance from us in order to start and embarking on the digitalization journey. So for the leader and master, of course, they are also, they are already on their, on board on this digitalization. Uh, they may, may be, uh, no need this assistant. So, okay, uh, next please. So uh, how, uh, what is the result will look like? Yeah, actually, if you, upon your submission of the question, so you will receive the uh, your score whether you are at which level yeah? uh, like this uh, example uh, you we will uh, you can receive yeah? the uh, radar chart yeah? on your uh, based on the eight uh, main dimension uh, mentioned for the digitization and then where did you are uh, in this case, is twenty eight percent, and you are a beginner. So, uh, when you have uh, received this radar chart, there is a few question. The only one question um, down uh, for, um, listed in the radar chart whether you want to participate in our my reskill IoT or not. If you want to participate, you just click yes. So, our secretariat will uh, immediate uh, will prompt you on the next steps. Yeah. And then we also given uh, the companies uh, uh, registered via our system to our uh, strategic partners in the uh, technology strategic partners. So how to apply and how to assess your companies uh, to see your readiness. So you can scan the QR code here and then you can experience together with us uh, on the journey towards the uh, digitization. So next, Sarah. So this is among the productivity improvement program that MPC offered. Yeah? But um, uh, all the companies have to register using our P1010 platform. So uh, currently, we are offer my reskill IoT as we targeted 5,000 manufacturing and also services companies, including the agriculture. And then uh, we also conduct the industry intelligence, um, artificial intelligence for SMEs. Uh, this one we targeted 100 manufacturing companies. We do have also the field service management program. Uh, this one we targeted 20 manufacturing uh, companies. And then uh, others than that, we do also have the smart machinery for food machine makers, smart pottery solution program, and Malaysia virtual experience, this one more uh, towards the tourism industries. Okay, next. So, okay, this is uh, what is the My Reskill IoT all about. The objective, of course, for the My Reskill or IoT is to assist the company in the adoption of the Industry 4.0 among the local industries. 
to train the uh, industry IoT technologies and skill set for the non-coding workforce for that they can remain relevant in the job market as well as to support, coach, prepare and enable 5,000 participants to carry out IoT project within their companies. So the scope, of course, we have the program, training program, a five half days virtual workshop where participants will learn about more Raspberry Pi and Arduino hardware. Uh, so um, uh, in the program, we will teach uh, how uh, the software, uh, how to operate the software and how to install the software. And then the data gathered from the connected sensor will be displayed using the not rate to enable the visualization and also remote monitoring. So this is uh, 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 the program that covered in our training. So the eligibility requirement, of course, the companies must register with the Surahanjaya Syarikat Malaysia, SSM. Company is under SME categories and open to both manufacturing, manufacturing related services. And then um, I mentioned earlier, we also uh, welcome the services industries and also the agrofood, eh? agrofood to partake in our program. So next. Uh, this is what the agenda is all about. Lah. So for the training module, we will conduct the training 100% virtual. So there are about six uh, sessions. Um, agenda training will prolong to two weeks, but uh, one week we focus more on the training or on the virtual, a half day, a half day for the five consecutive days. And then for the day, uh, second week, we focus more on the section six, yeah? section six for the SME proof of concept development using the MyRescale IoT. Uh, we try to uh, finish yeah? all the module within one week and then second week we monitor and presentation of the POC. So we help the companies to come up with the relevant project uh, and also the targeted area they want to embark, the targeted area they want to digitize. Yeah? From the manual to the digital. So um, more or less, uh, okay. So next, uh, Sarah, thank you, Sarah. Okay, this is the training kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The beauty part of our program, ni, we give the training kits to the company for free. Yeah, we want the company experience themselves how they were, uh, uh, their journey, yeah, the journey, the experience, uh, to have the experience to digitize some of your processes. Um, so what uh, in the unboxing training kits, ni, we, what we have in the box, uh, unboxing kits, we have the Raspberry Pi, we name the Raspberry Pi. We also have uh, the Arduino Uno ni, yang di mana dia ada kat sini kabel, dia ada sensor eh, in the uh, Pi. Dia ada two sensors here, humidity and also the light sensor. Kita ada supply the adapter, kita ada cable and then so on lah. Yang this, this one is more technical for me to explain further. But this is more or less what uh, we are given to the companies. Uh, but uh, one company, one starter kit. Okay, next. So this is the uh, flowchart. Yeah? Uh, what is the role of the technology centers and MPC and then the role of participants company if they engage in our program. So of course the technology center will do the promotion and marketing activities like this uh, uh, event today. Uh, we are collaborating with them and then uh, we uh, welcome companies to sign up with the P1010 program. So this is the uh, first condition for the company to participate, you have to uh, register via our P1010 program. So register means you have to uh, fill up your profile companies and also to assess your company's detail, to uh, assess your company level of digitization. So you also need to uh, sign a pledge, aku janji, like I showed to, uh, uh, previous in the first uh, second slides. So, and then uh, the companies will recruit, the, the training technology center will recruit the participant companies. And then uh, we will, the companies will sign the agreement to, uh, to show your commitment towards this program. Uh, once you have signed the signed agreement, so the technology center will start to purchase starter kits and arrange for delivery, schedule for the training session. So upon receiving the training session, so uh, the start the class uh, 
uh, will be start lah upon we receive uh, the company receive the uh, training uh, kits. So um, you uh, the company have to attend six days training uh, program conduct with a module have been um, mentioned earlier, and then uh, participate in our mentoring session yeah and develop then present the POC at the second week. So that's that is the role of the companies, and then you are given uh, more or less three months to finish your project from your your POC, and then uh, during the project uh, within the three months, if you have completed it earlier, uh, the training center will assess of the presentation for the POC, and then uh, the training center will uh, issue the final report to us. So at the end, maybe uh, we will organize one colloquium or one convention uh, to um, for all of the success story we want to share to the all Malaysian the success story that you have come out. Yeah. So next, please, Sarah. So I would also like to share the past IoT program. Actually, this program is um, initiated by the uh, Electrical and Electronic Productivity Nexus. Uh, uh, previously, the, the program were called Platfest, yeah? IoT Platfest. Um, and then they have come out, yeah? uh, EEPN have come out, uh, the Platfest project compilation. So if you want to um, look, in, uh, to look uh, on the success story of the companies that have um, participated in our program, you can scan the QR code here. Okay, next. Uh, this is the journey. So uh, actually, this program has been started yeah, uh, in 2018. 2018 until now, we they, they have expanded, expanded the program uh, to uh, another uh, to the next step, yeah, from the IoT, and then they go for the artificial intelligence for the SME, I, uh, uh, industry intelligence for the SME, uh, and also my reskill. So that's why we emulate uh, the module that uh, the. Uh, from the platform journey to our my reskill IoT module, and uh, we hope that it will benefit the rest of the Malaysian. So next, please. So this is an example, yeah, so the example of the project done by the Alliance Corp Manufacturing Sendian Berhad um, when they do when they did the um, POC. This is the project overview. They want to remote monitoring a motor under testing from tests. A rig room to center monitoring room. So before that, uh, they only do manual man monitoring, which is prone to error in logging process and safety concern when re uh, reading are taken near the motor under testing. So that's why uh, they, uh, they try to do the project, did the project using our smart starter kits. So at the end of the day, they have enhanced uh, safety because testing is now monitored and controlled in different room. So this is the beauty, yeah? how we can assess remotely all the information and data um, uh, from the um, adoption of the IoT. So automated emergency stop system able to create the uh, emergency stop system in case any problem arise and auto email on products reporting and problem. So that's why I would like to have all the companies to join our program to see and experience yourself how they can improve your processes and to improve your productivity uh, towards the journey. So next, so how to apply, of course, uh, 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 as I mentioned earlier, you have to scan here uh, to assess your company's um, readiness via our productivity 1010 via this code. And then if you have any question regarding on the MyRiskill IoT program, you can contact EEPN uh, at mpc.gov.my. So that's all from my sharing today. Thank you very much. I pass over to our moderator, Mr. Sandy. Thanks.
Thank you so much, Dr. Mazlina. Indeed, your wonderful insights will be an important leap forward for the organizations here to enhance their strategic initiatives, especially in the area of boosting productivity. Now, if I may just uh, summarize, because uh, I enjoyed your presentation very much. I'm sure the audience did as well. So let me just highlight a few points that I was uh, really impressed with. Of course, no, I, I, first and foremost, I enjoyed that video about from cows to cloud. You know, I didn't know that even cows have come on board in this uh, wonderful IoT journey. Yeah, so it's uh, wonderful to see that there are econ economies, of, uh, economies of scale and we need to really step out of our comfort zone. So for those of the participating institutions here, I think the message from Dr. Aslina is loud and clear that you know it's time now to start your IoT journey. Why is it so important? Well, you know, in the past, we've been talking about new frontiers, but nowadays, in this current age, the frontiers are no longer just physical frontiers, but they are frontiers on the technology front, right? So nowadays, there are a lot of intangibles present. So is there any way to be more competitive in an already competitive world? Yes, there is a way. For example, we notice that in Malaysia, it's not uh, in just any particular state, but throughout our nation and even around the world, a lot of SMEs are still largely manual in their operations. Sure, they have some uh, bit of word, word processing or Excel or even some PowerPoint presentation, but they are still largely uh, manual in their operations, whether they are in manufacturing or even in the services related industry. So here, IoT will enable you to streamline your oper operations. Of course, the ultimate aim is to improve product productivity and when that happens a lot of good things happen huh? especially the impact on the bottom line so don't wait any longer we are here as your technology center Sarawak skills we are working very closely with MPC yeah to, to, to bring this uh, exciting training the my reskill IOT program to you right here in Sarawak all right so the good news is that you'll be able to send your staff for the training. Uh, we are, of course, honoured and grateful that MPC is sponsoring the training as well as the training kits. All right, so uh, I understand that these are, uh, this is a substantial investment by MPC to reach out to the community, especially the business sector. Uh -huh. So that, that, that is uh, very interesting and it is a way to kickstart our, your, digitization journey. I think Dr. Maslina highlighted quite rightly that we need to start with digitization first. Uh, I think uh, if there's opportunity during the Q&A, uh, maybe if you have any question about what that exactly means, that we will be happy to answer your questions, right? So uh, before we continue to the Q&A session, I would like to invite everyone to turn on your video cameras because from where I am sitting there, I think there are quite a number of people who have not yet switched on your video cameras because we would like to have a good photo. We want to keep this happy memory of a new beginning so that uh, before we start our IoT journey. So let, let us all switch on our video cameras so that our people can take the group photo. Yes, the, the screens are now lighting up. I can see people uh, signing in. I mean, switching on their cameras. Excellent, excellent. Okay, the last few, come on, let's uh, on your cameras so that we can have a full screen. All right, is uh, our, our, still got a few more. Maybe we'll give about uh, five seconds more so that everyone can on their cameras. All right, we like to capture everyone happy and smiling before they, stay, before they start their IoT journey. All right, are we ready for the group photo? Okay, I'll, I'll do a count. I'll go backwards, uh, three, two, one. And then everybody smile, please smile. Put on your best smile. Three, two, one. All right. I think for good measure, we'll have another one, please. Uh, okay, there are some more people who have uh, not on their cameras. So try to, please try to on your camera if you can, so that we can capture the whole screen. Uh, all right, so... 
Uh, are we ready to have a, another group photo? Ready? Okay. Three, three, two, one. Okay. Due to the number of participants, I think we would have to have a couple more screens. Uh -huh. Okay, let's have another one. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, have we got everyone? All right, thank you very much, uh, everyone, for your participation in the group photo session and of, and of course, in the industry talk. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are now in the Q&A part of the session, question and answer session. So, we welcome questions from the audience. Would there be any questions coming in? All right, so I can see that uh, because we have open a number of channels for you to submit your questions. So uh, these are for, of course, for Dr. Maslina, right? Yeah, so uh, let me see. We have questions coming actually from different parts of Sarawak. Very good. I think I'll just get started because uh, it is our, we, uh, we have a few more minutes. So let us move on to the Q&A. Uh, so Dr. Maslina, I will start off. We have a number of questions coming through. For example, WhatsApp, I think Facebook as well, and also another channel here. All right. The first question that I have, it says here, although Malaysia's digital economy is gaining traction, there is some concern among SMEs and also micro SMEs about the capital or financial outlay to implement IoT. Would there be any forms of financial assistance for SMEs or MSMEs? that wish to embark on the IoT journey that Dr. Maslina has just presented. Okay, Dr. Maslina, all yours. Okay, uh, for the financial assistance, of course, for the MPC itself, we offer the free of charge, yeah? Because we know uh, the pressing issues and the problem faced by the companies before offer for the free of charge program, training and also including the consultation. So actually, uh, the program is worth uh, five thousand ringgit per company, lah. Can if we calculate it in, uh, in term of that one. So another uh, from that, we also can uh, facilitate and also coordinate, yeah, some of these um, program with other related uh, stakeholders because we do connect with the uh, Maida. We also have the connection with the financial uh, institution like M-Bank and also SME Bank. So if the company really, really need the assistance, we can uh, facilitate and try to facilitate uh, to the companies. But the most much, much important, you have to come forward to us in order for us to assist you. Okay, uh, Mr. Stanley. Okay, thank you so much, uh, yeah, doctor. Maslina, yes, that is true. You know, I think what she mentioned just now, the first step is to, you know, to sign up. Then, of course, uh, uh, I think just now she, she has highlighted also that, you know, the MPC is sponsoring basically the training and as well as the training kit. Yeah, so, and of course, uh, there are also other sources of financing. I think we have to work together uh, with MPC on that. So, yes, that is very promising. Yeah, because, uh, because in training like that, you know, there's a lot of uh, man hours involved, a lot of expertise involved, yeah, right from the assessment stage onwards. Huh? It's not just the training part. So there's, there are a lot of people behind the scenes at MPC and as well as Sarawak Skills. For example, the, uh, we have a team who has been trained in all this, uh, right, to ensure the successful uh, launch and running of the My Reskill IoT program. Uh, right now, uh, Dr. Maslina, I don't know whether you can see in the chat room, right? There is a question coming in the chat room. It says, uh, what type of OS well, operating system is being used for the Raspberry Pi? Is it an open source with what? GUI. Yeah. So uh, would anyone be able to answer that? Okay. Uh, maybe... Uh... If I'm uh, aware on this one, this more towards the open source. Maybe uh, one way you can uh, highlight this one. Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, thank you, Doctor and uh, Mr. Uh, Stanley Moderator. So I also, uh, this is quite technical for me. So I try to uh, ask 
uh, the uh, the uh, starter kit supplier? So the answer is yes. It comes with uh, GUI, and uh, this OS is being used in the res Raspberry uh, OS. It is the uh, open source. So the uh, answer is uh, uh, yes. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Wani for the for your reply. So of course, uh, this conversation is ongoing in case you require clarification even after this session, uh, do contact us or MPC that uh, we for more detailed explanations. All right. Um, I think there's another question in the chat room. So maybe I'll go to that first. Yeah, before other channels. It says, how about the micro SME? Uh, with less than five people in the company, will the financial assistance be offered? This is, this is from Daniel. I see, I see the name there. So uh, actually, uh, currently government has um, give more uh, emphasis yeah, to help the starter, especially for the micro. Uh, so uh, this also include lah. Uh, because in uh, my previous uh, slide, I only focus for the SME, right? But we also encourage that all the um, micro, if they are um, apa, uh, eager, in, eh? eager in uh, transform their companies, uh, so they can also um, uh, apply, eh? register with us, and then we can uh, apa, uh, match you with the other, the relevant uh, technology centers to help you to assist you where you want to highlight on which of the cases. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Maslina. I hope, uh, Daniel, we've been able to answer the question. Yes, SMEs, micro SMEs, of course, the training starts uh, fully funded by MPC. Then for any additional finance, uh, financial assistance, of course, we have to work together on that because Dr. Maslina mentioned there are different uh, agencies involved. All right, uh, I'll go on to the next question. All right. Let me read it out. It says, how can businesses, especially uh, small and micro businesses, benefit from big data technology? There is some concern that data analytics may be too complicated or too expensive for small businesses. What are your thoughts, Dr. Baslina? This is the actual question. <laughs> Yeah, actually, when we uh, use the jargon, yeah, big data is is look like very big, a big data. So the we have to start small, yeah, step by step, like the baby. So they start uh, crawling, and then they will stand up, and then, uh, then run. So uh, we no need to go very high expectation on one if we want to transform our operation because most of the company below they relate with the digital ni is lalu look at into the very huge initiative like ERP yeah ERP so that some of sometimes the ERP investment ni jadi gajah putih kan yeah? selalu kita kata so dia tak boleh tiba-tiba sistem dia tak match so that's why we we promote and then we we encourage to start small at least you have to start uh, rather than you uh, wait and later on you are no longer relevant in the um, uh, in the, the playing field lah. Uh, so we have to start at least small. Um, maybe with uh, from our help and PC help, we ensure that you can gain some benefits. Eh? Maybe in terms of some knowledge and then to upskill your workers or your employees in terms of the digital uh, knowledge so that uh, we are we can be ready if the economies are booming again uh, so it to sajalah mr stanley yes thank you so much doctor yeah um, just like to add on here um, uh, what dr maslina has shared so for the benefit of the audience yes the the thing is to start small yeah, uh, you'll be surprised to know, or maybe you already know this, that a lot of the packages that you are using probably right now in your office, already they have some basic data uh, analytic capabilities. Lah, huh? Because it, you, when you start small, then you, you can learn very quickly how to make sense of the data, right? Because you, you know, it's all around you really, but I, I suppose during the training and uh, with the support of uh, Sarawak Skills here, I think we can... Uh, give you some uh, headway in terms of 
we can start you off on like basic data analysis. Uh -huh. There are lots and lots of uh, training and courses in that area. So a lot of people will think that this is such a big thing, you know, big data. Of course, the name sometimes is a bit frightening. Uh, but uh, actually, we, when we start small, then you will realize that, you know, really we can make sense of the world around us just through some simple techniques. Uh. So we start, you know, in a phase kind of process. I, I have to move on to the next question. He says, uh, this is regarding the program that the My Reskill IoT program and what uh, Dr. Mazilina shared just now, but he says, following the initial half-day online sessions, so these are not full day, uh, half-day online sessions, would there be any further training after that? Okay, uh, like I, uh, what I have shared in the uh, previous um, slide presentation, actually uh, the uh, official training is the a half day of five days, yeah, yang itu official. So uh, the next uh, uh, weeks too, we uh, is not official. Uh, but if the companies uh, need our assistance, especially from the technical expert, technology centers assistant, how we would like they would like to develop the proof of concept, so they uh, can freely um, allocate their time lah uh, to connect with centers. Uh, so um, actually, the official is for the five um, uh, uh, a half day of the five days only. Okay, okay. So yeah, yeah. Besides the the five half days, of course, I think there'll be what what we call further hand holding like, along the process. Don't worry, everyone, because uh, MPC will be there. So our skills will be there. Our team will be there. You won't be alone on your journey. Lah, huh? We are there with you all the way uh, to the successful completion. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, this is another question regarding, of course, the same My, My Reskills IoT program. The with, Actually, there was, there was some understanding that um, companies can only send a number of staff. So the question is here that would it be possible for maybe more than two staff members to join this my reskill IoT program from the same company. Would you? Would it be possible? Of course, the minimum requirement is two. Eh? The companies need to send two uh, two participants. But we also welcome if they want to send more. The more is merrier, so the uh, more uh, employees uh, or participants can gain knowledge on this one. But uh, we need the commitment throughout the session, lah. If, if yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, they'll be they have to commit to the um, the five half day sessions, right? They must be there, and uh, I understand these sessions will be online, right? Online sessions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have still two more questions. So, uh, uh, let me say. It says, please share with us on how organizations can embed a culture of productivity productivity across all levels of the organization. Why is it important? for all staff to have a productivity mindset. Uh, it says here, referring to your first slide, Dr. Maslina. Yeah, that's why I, I, I said, uh, uh, because the productivity must be at, on top of the mind of all the people, especially for the employee. Because uh, 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 different actually from the productivity and profitability. Because profitability, we only gain if we, if we, we, if we have a demand. But in order to be productive, this is the long, uh, kita panggil selalu long term journey. Yeah? Productivity is everything in the long term. So the positive mindset, the punctuality, um, it must be set by the top uh, management. So that's why uh, uh, I emphasize the top leader have to commit. Commitment from the top leader in cascade and cascade down to the top uh, for the rest of the uh, staff in their organization is important. So that's why if all the companies uh, uh, employees know what the importance of the productivity, they can improve hand in hand yeah, with their um, employee employers to uh, deliver the quality and also the uh, quality service and also. Uh, uh, quality service lah. Ah. Yes. Okay. I think that there was a good message for everyone. It uh, starts at the top. And of course, uh, there must be commitment uh, from the top. I think just now your video also highlighted that, you know, we need to all leaders as well, uh, step out of the comfort zone and embark on this uh, 
IoT journey or productivity journey for that matter. And um, as, as you go down the ranks, for example, in an organization where people feel involved, they feel a sense of belonging. So they feel that it is our responsibility together in one family to achieve the noble objectives of pro uh, productivity. Eh? All right. Uh, I, I see that we have one last question, uh, Dr. Maslina. One last question. Uh, I, I have to read it out. It says, one of the thrusts of the recently launched national fourth industrial revolution policy, revolution policy is to accelerate innovation and adoption of uh, 4IR technologies. Uh, for those in the various sectors of industry who are not familiar with all these new technologies uh, or are not IT savvy, what should they do to take that all important first step to acquire 4IR related knowledge and skill sets, fourth industrial re revolution knowledge and skill sets. Would yeah, you be able to comment? Uh, when it involved with the industrial revolution, actually the re industrial revo revo revolutions is uh, is the entire ecosystem. Yeah, they focus on more on the connectivity of the entire uh, uh, ecosystem regarding whether they are their SMEs, regarding their manufacturing, agriculture, and also um, the services. So that's why they emphasize more on the um, industry revolutions. So for the uh, industry forward, they're more towards the manufacturing, right? Uh, so mm. uh, order to acquire the um, apa, the, you said that the uh, skill, eh? skill of the yes. technology. So we have to start small, like I said, the start small and then uh, learning, continuous learning um, in order okay. to update uh, the skill of the employers em employees. Uh, towards this uh, initiative. Okay, okay. Soalan yes, dia, uh, sebab soalan yeah. tu terlalu panjang. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a very long question. So I think I can just uh, capture. I think you you summed it up nicely. You know, we need to start small. I think that is uh, the the message, a central theme for for today. We need to start somewhere, and we can start small. Why? When we start small, there are lots of opportunities for growth. Definitely, right? Yeah. So. And of course, uh, we need to capture the correct data as you heard just now. I, I can see that before we end today's session, I can see one more question has appeared in our chat room. Uh, that is from Zuraimi. It says, how about the kit? Do they need to share per company? If need extra kit, how to purchase? Oh, I think so. How many kits will you give uh, for each company? Maybe? Actually, we will uh, give uh, allocate one kit per company. So if they uh, they see that the kids is very useful to expand to another next process, maybe they can contact the technical technology center to help them. Uh, so I was we only subsidize for one. So uh, that's why this is the proof of concept that I uh, I mentioned earlier because we want to uh, companies to see yeah the benefit uh, and then they can uh, I think the companies is rather like yeah, rather would like to uh, spend more to invest more on this one if they can see the result all right thank you so that there, there is a, so there, there's a way to purchase the extra kits uh, contact the technology center huh? that, that would be in this case would be Sarawak skills i think we can work something out uh, through that yeah so uh, thank you very much uh, because we have uh, run out of time everyone it is already i'm just looking at the time it's about almost 10 15 so uh, i'd like to thank dr maslina yes thank you very much for coordinating this talk with us as well it was a uh, wonderful welcoming pon haja nor hafiza muhammad arab welcome to sarawak i know you have just uh, uh, taken on this new assignment here so we look forward of course to working with uh, mpc sarawak region as well and of course our colleagues in the mpc head office yeah, so uh, before we end, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we would like to invite everyone to scan the QR code. I think it will shortly appear on your screen. And there is also a link in the chat room. So please spend a minute, a few minutes to complete the evaluation form. Uh, as always, we welcome your feedback because uh, if you are interested in any future programs as well, including those offered by MPC, do let us know in your feedback and uh, perhaps we can arrange another session like uh, as highlighted by MPC 
there are numerous programs and a possibility of sharing sessions in future. Yeah, so uh, uh, just as we, by way of ending, thank you very much for your support and presence today. Of course, we are very grateful uh, for the support of our partners as well, and all of you for attending today's session. And we look forward to your support at future events. All right, so I wish you all a wonderful day ahead. Thank you very much.